Righto, so this is going to be a video of how to clean your intake manifold on a NS Pajero. But one key thing you'll probably want is a, a new gasket. So I've got the Platinum IMS 025 and some oven cleaner. I've already removed my second battery just for speed, but that's going to be different on everyone's vehicles and won't bore you with this. So at this point you're probably going to want to clean your engine bay just so you don't get sand or dirt inside some of the working parts of the vehicle. So we're going to start by just get, removing some parts to gain easy access. We're going to remove the battery, the intake air hose, some of this cable including this bracket, this bracket and the EGR and its pipe. Then we're going to remove the fuel filter and some of these hoses and get that out the way and then we'll be ready to uninstall the throttle valve and the upper intake manifold. And then once we've removed the upper manifold we're going to remove some of these these fuel lines and the common rail down there and then we'll be ready to remove the lower manifold. First I'm going to remove the negative of the battery. I always do this normally because if you're, so now the negative is off, if you have a tool and you're on the positive and you touch any part of the body that will short the positive to the chassis which is connected to ground. That's why I remove the negative first. Righto, so with the battery removed, I'm just going to remove this air hose. It's just an 8mm. I'm going to remove the EGR, this bracket, and then probably the fuel filter, and then I'll have good access to the back of those plugs there. So removing the EGR and its pipe is pretty simple. It's just these four bolts, this top bolt here, and two bolts holding that bit there and this connector now it should just lift off don't forget put that gasket so now we should be able to undo these clips so those clips are undone now Take this bracket off. But looking at the harness, so most of that's undone. The other little one you have to undo is this, this nut there. So take that off. And then we'll just undo the throttle one. And this one, and you'll see the harness will drop this way. I'm having a bit of trouble removing this bolt. It's it's on quite tight and it's if you see it's just on a little a little bracket there and that bracket's starting to twist. So I might take the upper manifold off first and then undo that harness. So next is the fuel filter. So I'll disconnect this hose, this hose, this hose, and unplug there, and then we'll just remove the fuel filter. Right, so after a bit of a struggle, uh, just backed off these clips just a little bit. We should be able to pull those off. So that's off now. So you need to unclip that one. And then we'll pull off this clip using that black bit and just disconnect this blue connector and that'll be free. And there she is. So we've got a couple more connectors. I'll undo these two. Uh, so note on the fuel filter. So that one for mine was just tied back and not used. Not sure what it does. 
So we'll undo the fuel uh, P-clip and this one here that holds the dipstick and on mine it's also the battery earth. Now I'm going to remove the throttle valve which is four, just four bolts. With those four bolts undone now, the throttle valve will lift off and that's the gasket that's just dropped down. So at this point we've taken everything off that we need to remove the upper manifold. So all we've got left is three bolts. That's this one. And then at the back there's two. That's this one and then one more back there. That's that. The manifold will lift out now. Just remember that there's a gasket back there. So, as I said, I've cheated already, so I've cleaned this bit. It's quite not too bad, but what I haven't done yet is that nasty piece of work. We're now onto the lower manifold. So, what the plan of attack here is I'm going to remove this dipstick completely. I'm going to check that there's no dirt around these fuel pipes there. We'll remove some of those. We'll undo some P clips that are sort of buried in there. And we're going to take the common rail off, which is this thing here. And then after that, we should be right to start removing this lower manifold. I've got to remove on my dipstick another one of those clips. So they're all they're all the same. They you just pinch them in, and they push through. Yours might be snapped off by now, so you don't need to worry about it. So with that clip removed, the dipstick should pull out. So what I'm going to try and do is just I'm going to remove attempt to remove all these pipes, fuel pipes at once. So basically not undo any of those or from the common rail. Uh, just undo them up the top here and try and pull that all out as one. So I'll need to disconnect this middle bit which I think is the fuel supply and this, this pipe here on the end first. But before I do that, you can see you can see there's some crud there, so I'm just going to blow it out with the air compressor. See here as well that little that bolt that's on pretty tight and it's just this thin bracket because that's on so tight it's twisting that whole thing so I'm just gonna try and hold that while I undo that bolt and then remove this harness back all right so I got got that one off in the end and with a couple of snapped clips this whole harness will pull back now. Now we've got more space to undo these ones. Right, so they're all cracked. Um, can be undone by hand and just crack this middle one because I have to remove this pipe. Okay, yeah, so I've loosened one side but I've got to get we follow that now, it goes down into there, 
to down there. That's where I've got to get. I've got to take off this harness a bit more so I can access that. So I'll undo this clip and that clip and something down there. After trying to dick around with that clip, I'm just going to unscrew this whole bracket. It's the two bolts there. With that harness out of the way, that's what we're going to try and disconnect down there. So then we can take out this pipe. This one is very tight, but I've managed to get a 17mm spanner and there's a bit of a gap there, so you can just undo that from there. So in here, there's, there's two P clips you have to undo. One for this fuel line, which is that one, and one for this one. So I bent this tab down, holds the harness on, just so I could get a, a socket in there, because it's very, very tight. And with that, that P clip out, this hose just lifts away. So I've got this middle pipe out now, so I'm going to undo this bolt. And get the P clips off. One, two, three, four. And then I've undone one common rail bolt and I'll undo the other and the rest of these and we'll see if we can pull that out as a whole assembly. So I've just undone that bolt and out comes a banjo bolt and a copper washer. So that copper washer should be joined but it's snapped. I think I'll still reuse it if the actual surface of the uh, washer is fine. It's just the link so it might be a bit harder to install. So I'm going to undo this P-clip bolt holding this fuel line on. It's taken a bit of wriggling but this whole common rail should come out as one piece, uh, but it's a two-handed job. And that's the common rail out. Just took a bit of wriggling to get it out. Had to partially pull the transmission dipstick out to give me just enough room. Yeah, there's, there's two bolts that I didn't undo that hold this fuel rail on. And if you don't undo them, it's pretty stiff. So it's this one here and, and that one. If you undo those, then that'll move. And then you'll be able to remove the common rail a little bit easier than what I did. Alright, so we've got this bracket off. And now we've got to get... Those two bolts off. push this out the way and then we'll take the manifold off. Does this happen to anyone else? You put you put down a tool for one second and you go to pick it up later and it's vanished off the face of the earth. Okay, so I got that uh, bracket off back there. It's two 12 mil bolts. The back one is quite difficult to get to because this dip sticks in the way, but I got there in the end. Now we're going to take off the manifold, which is 10 of these bolts. So with 10 bolts, most of them are fine. This back bottom one is a tough one because that's as much as I can move my ratchet. Right, so I've got all the bolts off. You can see there's quite a few different lengths because they're tight in some spots. So I've got all 10 bolts off. Now we're going to give it a tap with the mallet.
So it's taken a bit of hammering to get it oh, melted, absolutely nothing. So you're going to need something a bit bigger. You can see it's coming loose now. One thing before I take this off, I'll just disconnect this vacuum hose for the swirl valves. And then it's right to take out. And there we go. Oh, she's out. <laughs>